reading over the reflections a lot of you guys not the majority but a lot of you guys were saying that the one note was a little confusing and that you were getting kind of frustrated with it um, I get it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a series of videos that I'm gonna put in your Google classroom uh, under the notebook topic and I'm gonna show you guys how to navigate the notebook that you can come back and refer to anytime you want okay um, the first one is just gonna be basic navigation all right this is your one note the reason we use the digital notebook is because this is the way that I can pass out notes to you guys you guys can keep your notes organized and it's another way for me for you guys just to do assignments without having the trouble of like do I need to take a picture to send it in do I need to submit it if you do it here I can see it okay so your notebook this is an example of what your notebook probably looks like now obviously the tabs are going to be different okay uh, this is just a sample notebook that I'm using uh, but each tab uh, has its own set of different pages okay so here in your notebook you're gonna find the tabs so think of these like the dividers in your notebook okay like in a binder so each divider is gonna have its own set of different pages okay now there's just random stuff on these because this is one that I used um, just to make another video just like this for teachers okay but every tab is gonna have its own set of pages so on yours you have like class notes you have data page you have a glossary etc etc right so to access a page you click on the desired tab and then you come over to this column right here and then you see the list of pages that are available to you okay to change the title of a page all you have to do let me see is click on the title of the page and you can go in there and you can change the title of the page so if I tell you to create a page for example that says uh, orbital or electron configuration let's say let's call it electron configuration okay all you gotta do is click on the title page change and then change the name now you can see that that there's an automatic timestamp of when the page was created right that way you can always um, refer back to a certain page if you remember what day it was Okay, now how do you add a tab? Well, if you go back to your section here, okay, you go to add section, all right, and if you click add section, a new divider will appear. Then you can title this divider whatever you want. Let's say you want to title this one class notes. All you got to do is go in there and click it, and it'll add class notes. So now in your notebook, you have an entire section that you can add notes to. Now, how do you add a page? Well, a page is exactly the same thing. You need to have one of the tabs selected, okay? Because if you're up here or you're in the content library, for example, it's not gonna give you this option. But if you're selecting on the tab, all you have to do is click add page, a new page will appear, and then you can title it whatever you want. So let's say we're gonna call this unit one notes on atoms, okay? If I don't give you a title, um, then you guys can make up your own but I'm gonna try to be vigilant about giving you guys a title every time we do a new page okay all right now let's say you wanna you wanna your some of your stuff in your notebook is kind of far off to the side and you can't really see it if you click this little stack of notebooks here it'll close everything down so you have full access to your notebook okay now we're gonna go through a couple of the features here the home this is where you're going to be able to do kind of the same stuff that you do on your google docs or your microsoft word you can add bold you can add underline you can change font color background color line spacing all that stuff is here and if you want to type a note all you have to do is click anywhere inside the notebook and you can start typing anything you want okay now the cool thing about this is it also gives you a spell check so if you have a misspelled word you can go back and correct it now once you type something you can actually move it around anywhere on the notebook that you want okay if you're good with that and you want to type another note somewhere else all you got to do is double click anywhere okay or just push the, the tracker button all the way down and a new cursor will appear and then you can start typing here Now, if this is not where you want it, you can always move your words around wherever you want, okay? All right. So all the stuff for typing, writing is gonna be on the Home tab. When you go to Insert, this is where you can insert a table. Let's say we're gonna do like a data table, right? And you wanna insert a table here. Well, 
That's it. That's all you have to do, right? You add the table, and then you can resize it to whatever size you want. Okay. Now these are not going to change until you start typing a lot, and then it'll expand on its own. Okay. So if you want to make them bigger, you just go in there and you hit enter, for example, and it gives you bigger, bigger cells. It gives you all the same options that you would on Excel. You can go in there, insert rows, insert graphs, delete columns, whatever you want to do is going to give you those options when you're in the table. Okay. Uh, a file. If you want to insert a file, you can insert a file. All you have to do is click on the attach button. Okay. And then you're going to go to your documents, whatever. I don't have really any documents in my computer. Right. But you can also insert screenshots this way. So if you want to hit open, you insert a screenshot because they're going to be on your desktop, right? We're going to insert it. How do you want to insert it? Yeah, insert as attachment, right? And then you can do it that way. Now you can insert screenshots that way. Um, there's a much easier way to do it and I'll do that in another video, but you can also use the file button to do that. The printout means like if you have a PDF, right? Let's say I give you a PDF and you want to insert it, it's going to insert it like this. So you can actually see the file instead of just a link. You have the opportunity to insert links. You have the opportunity to insert a mathematical equation if we're doing that. And then you have all the shapes here. The draw feature is going to be where you're going to be able to go in there and you're going to be able to highlight. So let's say I want to use my highlighter, right? All I got to do is click on the highlighter. I can pick a color, whatever color I want, pick the thickness. And then if I want to go in there and highlight just the title, for example, all I have to do is go in there and then I can highlight on my notebook just like that. Okay. You can, you also have the ability to write on the notebook. So if you want to say, okay, pay special attention here, I'm going to draw an arrow. And then I can go back to my little cursor here, type on the button and say, uh, remember this, right? Explanation. And then if I want to move that, I can always just move it so it's right next to the arrow. Okay. So your notebook gives you a lot of freedom to do whatever it is you need to do. Just like if you had a physical notebook, this is why I love this program. And when you insert something in your notebook, you don't have to worry about turning it in. I can go into your notebook and see, Hey, look, they did what they were supposed to do. Okay. So your draw feature is going to have all of this. In your view, this is where you can change certain things, uh, different things. You can change the background. My background right now is set up tonight. If you want to change it today, it gives you a white background. Okay. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Okay. If you don't like just the plain white, you can add lines to make it look like notebook paper. You can add wide ruled. You can add college ruled. Okay. Uh, you can make it even wider. It's up to you. You can add grids. Okay, so you can put the background to make it however you want and make it more accessible to you. You can customize your notebook however you wish. Okay, you can also do password protection on these. Okay, like if you want to uh, protect a curtain section or something like that. That's not going to help you. If I can't see it, I won't be able to grade it. Okay, um, and then there's also a translate feature here for those of you that need to help with, uh, with English or with Spanish or whatever. You can type a certain uh, uh, a certain phrase or or highlight something, and then it'll translate it for you to whatever language you wish. So for those of us that are having a little bit of trouble with some of the with with, with a language barrier, there's a built-in translate in your notebook. Okay, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the overall view of how the notebook works. It's a really really powerful software that's gonna that's gonna help us organize our stuff and keep our work in order. Okay. I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it there, but I'm going to put this in the Google class. If you guys have any other questions or you guys have a specific feature you want me to make a video for, let me know. Okay.